So we're building a SaaS tool to help people with Google Analytics, and I wanted to build a landing page for it so that I could collect people that were interested in the project. And it was super easy. It's like, it took me 10 minutes to create a landing page, single page website with card and AI, and I'm gonna show you how I did that in this video. Step one, you're gonna need a card account. Cannot recommend these guys enough. I've been using them for three or four years now, maybe. There is a free plan. I don't even know if the free plan allows you to collect emails. I could be wrong. I'm on the pro plan, it's $19 a year, which is crazy, and you get like, I think 10 websites or something. I've actually upgraded from that to the next plan. So I'll show you the pricing real quick. So I actually upgraded to this one for 25 sites. But think about it, this is literally 10 sites for $2 per website per year. It's crazy, so highly recommend that you do that. Yep, and I just scrolled down and I'm seeing that to get the forms feature to collect emails, which is something that we did on the landing page, you would need this plan. So once you get logged into your dashboard, these are the sites that I have. You would just make a new site. You're gonna scroll through and just find the design that you think works best for you. I'll show you the one that I used for that site. It was this site. Cool, so it gives you some tidbits on what you do. Now here's the thing, if you're making a landing page, you're gonna not need everything that's on the page, right? So you're gonna need to go through and delete delete those elements. So I like deleted that section, don't wanna preserve them. And look for that green bar where that green bar is around. Click, delete, no, don't keep the elements. Okay, I can do this whole section. Click, delete, no, you'll see. And what you'll end up with is just the section that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back over to here because this is my live website on Make Analytics Fun Again. So I'm gonna exit out of that site, go into the Easy Analytics site, just so you can see with everything deleted, what I ended up with. So I have a kind of a marketing headline, a little bit more information, collect an email. Now, I use, of course, I use AI to help with these. Right, so I had my idea, I typed it out, took a screenshot, popped it over into whatever tool you want, and then just got some feedback. So for this, I'll show you how this works. Let me go ahead and let me add another one. So let me click add. It's a form, and it would be a sign up form. So you wanna choose what type of form that you have. And then this is where you'll go through, you know, maybe you say, maybe you don't want the name, like I just wanted the email. You can design the button, you can design what is said inside these boxes. But here's kind of one of the keys I wanna show you, which is pretty cool. If you use one of these companies, like for example, I use Beehive, I could have connected this form directly to Beehive, added my API key, it would add to the publication that I wanted to, and then I could have tagged the users, but I did not want to add the people that sign up for this to my email newsletter. Even if I tagged them, I just wanted to separate them. So what I did, this is, this is my live page, so let me delete this off. What I actually did was used make.com and created a webhook so that anytime someone enters in their email, they click the button, it fires this webhook and it adds the email address to a Google spreadsheet. Really easy to do the first time, it can be a little complicated, but it's not that difficult. I will actually pop over into Make and show you, I have a lot of automations that run. I just, I've really fallen in love with this product. If you're not using it, you should totally check it out. Side note, if you wanna see, like I actually send out a weekly newsletter where I'm talking about the online projects that I'm working on and what I'm doing and how I'm building different income streams. Feel free to connect with me in that as well. I'll leave a link below. But so this is it. This is the full automation. It's very simple. It's very easy. I created a webhook and it periodically daily checks, hey, is anyone, you know, has that webhook triggered? And to create that, make.com actually now has a pretty cool AI assistant. You could just ask it. You could just say, hey, I'm looking to create a form on card that when it's filled out, we add a contact to Google Sheets and it can kind of create this for you and give you a webhook and walk you through it. It's not that difficult. So that's what I did, webhook, boom. So any emails go on this Google Sheet that we have set up in Make. Final piece, if you notice, I'm using a custom domain makeanalyticsfunagain.com. It's not like a card website. And how I did this, it's also very easy. When you go to save your website and publish it, you're going to choose one of these options. And how you would do that is you would publish to a custom domain. 
you tell it what the domain is. Now you would already need to own this domain. To do that, I highly recommend Spaceship. Don't use something like GoDaddy. GoDaddy's like 20 something dollars a year. They're not fun. Spaceship is the coolest company that I've found over the last year. I've been moving all of my domains over to them. So let me go to Domain Manager. And I'll just show you. Make Analytics fun again. You would just need to go to your DNS. So the DNS is where you're going to make these changes. Now what's cool about Card is they walk you through how to do this so like let me just click on this and show you because they show you depending on who your here you go who your who your registrar is so if you do have one of these they give you the exact instructions that you need because the first time you do this dns stuff it seems a little complicated i'll be honest with you it's not that big of a deal but it is a little scary the first time you go because you have to go to advanced dns and like changing these settings it can affect the actual website right which is why they're telling me hey proceed with care but these are the things that you need to have set up you have to have a host you have to put the at symbol here it's basically pointing to an ip address and the IP address it's pointing to is here that like they give it to you. So you just need to put this into spaceship. Boom, put that in there. Then this kind of sets up a canonical C name. So it's like if someone went to www.makeanalytics, it goes to the same place is basically what that is. And they give you exactly what to set up. I mean, they tell you, you need a C name record. You need to put www dot in here. It's a C name record. Put that in there. Boom, save it. Okay done once you do that it takes a little bit of time but it will propagate and then from there when you publish these changes like your website is live and that's it i mean me just showing and recording this for you took 10 minutes but so you can <laughs> you can really build it in the same amount of time it's really crazy so i'll put links to these down below and if there's any questions i can answer for you let me know i'll put up some other videos that you can hang out and watch and i hope we connect soon see ya peace